welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm really excited. Um, I'm actually filming this intro after this event because I forgot to film one. <laughs> so what we're doing today is I'm taking you with me to the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Walk. It's the Walk for 1 in 100 and it's in Columbus this year. The Ohio one is. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Some of you, if you've been here a while, you probably know I have a congenital heart defect. Well, I have several congenital heart defects. Um, I will put a link in the description to, there's a whole playlist that's like my health playlist, um, but I'll put some specific videos in the description. So there's a couple where I answer your questions as well as parent of kids with CHD. I answer their questions kind of explaining what is CHD or what is something you wish other people would know about CHD, just CHD in general. That will be down below. I will also link a couple of videos about my specific defect. In case you didn't know, I was born with pulmonary atresia with a ventricular septal defect and multiple aoropulmonary collateral arteries. Yep, that's a mouthful. Uh, we'll link all of that down below in case you guys are interested to learn more specifically about it. I just thought I would share this with you. It's an event that I love going to and this is the first one that they're finally doing again since COVID. So I'm really, really excited to share it with you all and I hope you enjoyed it. So let's just head to morning of and uh, yeah, enjoy the time with me. Good morning, everyone. So um, it is the crack of dawn, actually. You can't see. It's still dark out. Dawn hasn't even cracked. It's still, <laughs> it's like, oh, 6.20 a.m., but I mean, there is, there is no, no sun yet. I thought I would take you guys with me to go to the Adult Congenital Heart Association Heart Walk. I'm doing the Ohio one, which will be in Columbus, so I got about a two-hour drive to get there. I'm volunteering. I, I don't know if I said this in the intro or not, but I am a I'm a peer support mentor with the Adult Congenital Heart Association and basically I just talk to other patients or family members if they want to be matched, but we get matched with patients. They may have a similar diagnosis or going through a similar procedure and we just talk to them whether it's they need, maybe they just need someone to listen to them that's someone that's gone through it and they want to bounce off, you know, here's how I'm doing. like. How did you handle this? Or if it's someone specific, looking for specific information on the website where we help to like educate them on finding stuff and whatever particular information they're looking for. We also try to help patients advocate for their own health or let's say better advocate for their own health because I feel like everyone wants to, you know, have a say in their healthcare, but some people, I mean, I know even I'm guilty about this sometimes, you know, you would just, a doctor tells you something you just kind of maybe you don't feel super easy about it and or you have questions but you feel nervous asking so it's more just helping a patient feel comfortable having that kind of conversation with their care team anyway um yeah it's gonna be cold right now it is I'm trying to look at what it says on my computer i think it's like 43 degrees no it's 30 something 37 out right now i have this and a long sleeve and then i have like my another coat i'm taking as well because i think it's going to be like 43 when i get there and it's not going to warm up much through the day i think maybe 50s so i'll probably be able to just be in the light jacket but i thought until then i would you know have everything i need let's just get on the road i might show you guys a little bit of driving we'll see Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everyone, I made it. Hopefully you don't hear the music in the background, but look. Okay, we're outside. It's beautiful. It's freezing, but it's beautiful. But look, fall does exist, everyone. It's like, it's so much, it's two, two hours north of where we were. So it's like, it's, the colors are just beautiful. Also, look, there is frost on the ground. This is crazy, but here's our, our walk tables and everything. I'm gonna be working the ACHA table with couple of our other coordinators and it's just I'm so excited to see everyone I mean right now there's only like 10 of us trying to set up Whew, all right I'll see you guys here shortly all right so I I thought I would show you guys the table that I was working at um just kind of the kind of stuff we offer and we had QR codes this year which was very new and different for us so you're welcome to pause use your phone to 
uh, see where it leads you to on the website. But there was a lot of really fun things. We had a new travel directory, um, our health passport, which is, you know, I think we've had that for quite a few years. I don't think that's changed too much, but there was a lot of different little handouts, some fact papers about CHD. Um, nearly one out of 100 babies each year is born with a heart defect. That's why it's called the walk for one in 100. We have, again, our clinic directory, so that's amazing. If you guys are a CHD patient, those are super helpful to have whenever you're traveling. I highly, highly recommend you know keeping one on hand or saving the website for that. Um, again, some more fact sheets. I really love it. It talks about how common, again, one in 100 babies. Um, and then we just had some different things, stuff about the peer mentor program, like I said, that I'm a part of, but I loved this table, and I thought it was a really, it was a great information, so I was happy to share it all. And thank you all for coming out. Like she said, my name is Jenny, and I'm a peer support mentor with the Adult Congenital Heart Association, as well as a patient. I was born with pulmonary atresia with DSD and multiple aortal pulmonary collateral arteries. It is a mouthful, I agree. <laughs> I want to share a little bit about what ACHA means to me. I think one of the most important aspects of the organization is its devotion to education and research. So, to give you some insight, in March of this year, I was diagnosed with endocarditis, and honestly, it was a very scary time. But what helped me, put me at ease, was knowing not only was the clinic an ACHA accredited senator, but my providers are ACHD board certified as well. ACHA has been vital in developing the highest standards to determine which doctors and facilities offer quality care. This means continuous ACHD education and research is at the forefront of that care. So, I knew that despite it being a very difficult situation, I was in really good hands and that my doctors and care team were gonna make the best decisions regarding treatment. Even if that meant pretty emergent open heart surgery, it was a life-saving decision that I will be forever grateful for. I know it's easy when an organization asks for donations to maybe not really understand where that money goes. But when you donate to ACHA, that money goes right back into research, education, and the peer support mentor program. That could mean funding a grant that could lead to a new life-saving procedure. And I think even from a selfish perspective, a lot of us patients and our loved ones very much support that. So if you haven't already, please head to the check-in desk. We'll be more than happy to take your donations. And again, I'm Jenny. I'll be over at the ACHA table. But should you have any questions about the peer, more, peer mentor program or just want to say hello. Thank you all again for coming here today. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so I'm back in my car. Um, I Sorry I didn't film as much at the actual event. I'm hoping I inserted a clip of the speech. My friend Jessica, I think, was going to be recording it for me. There was just a lot of, you know, patients and families there. And so I wanted to be very respectful of privacy. You know, not everyone, you know, wants their face all over the internet. And some may or may not be comfortable sharing their health history with people they don't know. Sorry there's a little about that, but I was just, again, trying to be respectful of that barrier right there. But yeah, I hope you guys it did enjoy it. I know this is a little bit different from what I normally do, but you know, my CHD, my heart defect, you know, it's a big part of my life. Obviously, I try not to let it, you know, run my life. I feel like it's important to share my story to help connect with others and especially patients out there, someone who may feel like they're completely alone. I just want to let you know, like, I see you. Um, you, you can't see me with my glasses. Here. <laughs> I see you. I, I, that's why I enjoy volunteering and again even here on my channel sharing my health story whether it's cardiac related or rheumatoid or fibro or you know all the above. I just like sharing because I know there's a lot of you guys that are you know patients or you know at least fellow chronic illness warriors all my, all my spoonies out there. I just kind of like to give a voice to us because sometimes I feel like especially if it's an invisible illness it kind of People don't, I don't know, people kind of forget about it sometimes with that, I think, and there's not enough awareness about it, and they'll look at you and not realize, you know, what you may be going through, so I kind of, I guess, like to be a little bit of a face for that, at least in my own little way. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, hit the bell while you're down there, so that way you're notified every single time I upload. I'm trying to do, I usually do two videos a week, but with Vlogoween, 
three to four videos a week is about what I'm aiming for. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And to my fellow Spoonies out there, just giving you all big, soft, gentle hugs that you're having a lovely day. And uh, I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Whether you guys are one of my patrons, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're someone that just dropped in and watched this video, thank you so much for being here and sharing time with me. I hope you're doing wonderful. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.